Right, so here's a interesting, slightly puzzling at times, uh, little poem uh, called The Fly uh, in Songs of Experience. Um, and uh, in his poem, uh, Little Fly, though summer's play, my faultless hand has brushed away. Uh, a fly lands on the poet and the poet brushes the fly away. Um, and the poet then goes on to muse, am I not a fly like thee, or art thou not? A man like me uh, and really what Blake is doing is is questioning uh, the importance of life altogether um, you know a fly is a uh, as far as he would have been concerned a sentient creature um, it is alive uh, the fly was created by God it has the summer's play that link to the pa pastoral there that kind of um, uh, creature that's uh, created by the loving god and the all-encompassing god and in, in the same way that man is uh, so he's kind of um equating the fly's life you know who's got the most important life here the fly or the human i'll uh, I, I know that these days we'd say oh definitely the human but you know we're, we're kind of arrogant enough to uh as a species arrogant enough to suggest that you know blake is saying whose life is most important uh, he says my thoughtless hand has brushed away um, really he's showing that the life's uh, the fly's life has been easily destroyed that life is actually very fragile and because he's um, he's he's taken away that life um, that, that, that he's recognized that fragility he considers actually the fragility of his own life so when we have a look down at uh, this stanza here, the third stanza, he says, For I dance and drink and sing, till some blind hand shall bruff, brush my wing. Yet life allows the, the dancing and the drinking and the singing. It allows, uh, in the same way as the flies um, dances and, and drinks, um, and in a way sings with its buzzing. You know, we have this kind of equality. Um, so whilst Blake is living, he says, till some blind hand shall brush my wing. And really when he says, when he's talking about the blind hand, okay, this links to the Roman goddess uh, Fortuna. So the Roman goddess Fortuna was the goddess of fortune. Uh, she was, in a sense, the uh, personification of luck. Um, and the, the goddess itself, the, the, the kind of modern version, is, is Lady Justice. There are lots of statues around of Lady Justice. Um, and the reason the two are linked is because Fortuna was uh, portrayed as veiled or sometimes blindfolded. Um, and uh, she was... Uh, presented that way because uh, what it showed was that uh, she had no choice in who she gave luck to she couldn't see who she gave luck to uh, so um, whoever received the luck was not through her choice it was through pure chance alone um, and what Blake is reflecting on when he says about this blind hand shall brush my my wing he's suggesting on the fragility of his life now we got what we got to remember uh, is in Blake's day um, people suffered much more in terms of illness um, therefore uh, life was much more fragile in, in, in Blake's day there was to survive itself uh, in a sense was lucky um, lots of i mean people did live till a long uh, age to a ripe age um but the infant mortality rate was very very high so actually it was lucky to survive now blake goes on this is where it gets um so he's ruminating he's thinking uh within these first three stanzas about the fragility of life uh and this is where we get to kind of the crux of our argument um uh, if thought is life okay so what he's suggesting here is uh it is our ability to think that makes life worthwhile and, and this in a sense might be him separating us from the animals because we don't know if the fly has that th that that the ability to think and blake wouldn't have known that but thinking is what makes our life worth uh, worthwhile our ability to think to have that in, in the, uh, independent thought if thought is life and strength and breadth and the want of thought is death um, so the idea 
that if we refuse to think, if we refuse to be critical, if we refuse to question things, then actually metaphorically we become dead. Okay, if we lose the faculty to think, then metaphorically we become dead. And I think possibly, and although it doesn't really, Blake doesn't really uh, focus on any specific instance, um, you know, we need to think about that idea of maybe maybe forms of control uh, uh, the, the the elements of control within our life um, may subjugate us enough to kind of inhibit that sense of independent thought uh, so maybe there is a uh, and I, I think this is quite tenuous but maybe there is this this belief that uh, forms of control uh, inhibit our ability to think which uh, restricts us from living it restricts our imagination so forms of control restrict our imagination they restrict our ability to to be critical um, and i think this is what blake and this is the important stanza really he's saying that um you know if if we refuse to think or if we're not allowed to be think uh then we are metaphorically dead and in this final stanza he says then i am a happy fly if i live or if i die so this suggestion that regardless he wants to be free to think he wants to be able to think uh, however he will accept what life brings if that life is free okay i'm a happy fly if i live or if i die so um as long as life is free i will accept what life brings to me so this is perhaps a little bit more of a difficult poem in terms of well what is the bigger picture um, I think the bigger picture really focuses on this stanza here uh, the bigger picture is having the ability to think critically and the ability uh, and, and not being subjugated uh, in a way that inhibits that freedom of thought although as I've said probably too many times now um, he doesn't necessarily focus on any particular form of control uh, that inhibits that freedom of thought so again uh, maybe not a poem that you would lead an argument with uh, but very very much potentially a poem that you would use in support of an argument that you're making